Hello everyone, so today we'll take a look at my opinion on the correct way to version your software. All software should have a software version which follows the major minor and patch versioning system. When existing features are affected in a backwards compatible manner, we increment the patch version. This is usually a bug fix, performance increase or security patch. When new features are added in a backwards compatible manner, we increase the minor version and reset the patch version to zero. Finally, when existing features are affected or new features are added in a backwards incompatible way, the major version is incremented and the other numbers are reset to zero. By doing it this way, it's very easy to determine if a new version of the software is compatible with an older version. The only time it isn't compatible is if the major version has changed. Any software with a concrete interface should also have what I call a spec version. This would apply to, for example, a command line utility, a REST API or a Node.js package. This version can keep everything consistent between different implementations, for example if you have to rewrite your code in a different language, which is quite common, or if you have to rewrite it for a different platform. If two implementations have an identical spec version, then they should both behave in the same way. This can be verified by having equivalent unit tests. So what should a spec version look like? A spec version should have a major version and a minor feature list. The minor feature list is for backwards compatible changes or potentially backwards incompatible changes if the user opts into those new features. The major version is for backwards incompatible changes to the entire API. So why should we use a feature list in place of a minor version? One of the reasons is that implementations can implement any combination of features. If we used minor versions with this example, anyone who implements feature Y is also forced to implement a potentially unrelated feature first, feature X, and this is because they are both in the same minor version. Another reason is because anyone using your API can specify which new features are needed and an error message can be shown if that new feature isn't supported. Feature checks can now be done in JavaScript and CSS, resulting in individual browser version checks to be soon obsolete. Feature lists also make it very easy to create test features that might be coming in the future, or to import features from newer versions. So to recap, the software version should be a major minor patch version uh, to make it easy to determine if a newer version is compatible with a previous version. Major minor patch applies to other areas too, such as specification documents. Any software with a concrete interface should also have a spec version to keep implementations consistent with each other. The spec version should be a major version and a minor feature list. With a minor feature list instead of a minor version, implementations can implement any combination of features and anyone using your API can easily determine if necessary features are supported. That's going to mark the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay subscribed for my upcoming videos such as future proofing your database.